We'll have high def from the heavens. These are new images from a new government weather satellite. They have four times the resolution of photos from other satellites. Experts say it's going to help forecasters predict the weather with better accuracy. Better weather predictions aren't the only thing fueling man's fascination with space. Humans have dreamed of setting foot on Mars for a long time now, and tonight that dream is closer to reality than ever before. News 8 anchor Scott McDonald takes a closer look at a Connecticut company that's playing a pivotal role in the mission to Mars. Inside UTC Aerospace Systems in Windsor Locks, decades of breakthroughs protecting astronauts as they enter the unknown from the Apollo missions into the moon. And now beyond to the next frontier, a mission to Mars, which means a new approach and a new look to the spacesuit. The outer layers are very tough fabric that reflect the sun's rays, but also protect against scratches and micrometeoroids, so tiny specks of dust flying at tens of thousands of miles an hour. Razor sharp space rocks and dust, extreme cold, just a few of the challenges Dr. Gregory Quinn and the team at UTC Aerospace Systems face. The gloves are one of the most complex parts of the, the suit. For Quinn, a Yukon grad, it's the mission to the Red Planet that inspired him down his career path. When I was in high school, um, I was captured by the idea of helping to get people onto Mars. What we see in the movies may soon be reality. This will come as quite a shock to my crewmates. Work and planning for the missions are already underway. NASA wants to put humans on Mars by the 2030s. The first mission is just a few years out. UTC aerospace teams working through the engineering challenges. For one, Mars has no water. We need to design new systems for evaporating water and for insulating the astronaut than we do uh, have on the current spacesuit. The Martian environment has twice the gravity as the moon. The, the Mars spacesuit will need to be much, much lighter than what we operate with today. Humans will need to be more mobile on Mars. It'll also take about eight minutes to send and receive messages from Mars to Earth. So suits will have to be supercomputers. We'll need to provide more information as far as uh, checklists, travel routes, travel uh, you know, Mars walk planning, those things will have to be done locally. So the computing power in the next suit will be uh, much greater than it is today. Connecticut employees right in the middle of the greatest journey of human exploration mankind has ever seen, raising technology to new heights. It's already driving innovation, driving technology and scientists uh, to do more than we've ever done before. In Windsor Locks, Scott McDonald, News 8.